Egypt is a transcontinental country. The Sinai Peninsula forms a land bridge between the African and the Asian continents. The three biggest cities in Egypt are Cairo, Alexandria and Gaza. Most of Egypt's landscape is dominated by deserts. A few oases are dotting the desert. Egypt and Sudan are the easternmost countries of the Sahara Desert. Egypt's climate is mainly hot and dry. Rainfall occurs in the winter months when even snowfalls can be expected on the mountain sides of the Sinai Peninsula. The largest city of Egypt is Cairo. About 21 million people live in the metropolitan area of Egypt's capital city. Cairo is the second largest city of the African continent after Lagos in Nigeria. The Nile is the longest river in the world. The Nile enters the Mediterranean Sea just north of Cairo. Egypt is the country with the most Arab-speaking people in the world. Some also refer to Egypt as the most populous country in the Arab world. Al-Azhar University is Egypt's oldest university. The Islam University was founded in 975 Anno Domini. Next, we move on to the timeline of Egypt. On 669 before current era, Assyrians from Mesopotamia conquered and ruled Egypt. 525 before current era, Persian conquest. 332 before current era, Alexander the Great of ancient Macedonia conquers Egypt. Founds Alexandria, a Macedonian dynasty rules until 31 before Christ. 31 before current era, Egypt comes under Roman rule. Queen Cleopatra commits suicide after Octavian army defeats her forces. 33. Current era, Christianity comes to Egypt and by far, country has largely displaced Egyptian religion. 642. Arab conquest of Egypt. 669. Cairo established as capital. 1250 until 1517, Mamluk, a last a Slav soldier, rule characterized by great prosperity and well-ordered civic institutions. 1517, Egypt absorbed into Turkish Ottoman Empire. 1798, Napoleon Bonaparte forces invade but uh, are repelled by the British and the Turks in 1801. Okay, next, we move to the history of religion in Egypt, which is Coptic Christianity. The Copts is derived from the Arabic word which is Egyptian. Egypt was Christianized during the 1st century era when the country was part of the Roman Empire. Egyptian Christianity developed prestige dogmas and practice during the more than, than two centuries that the religion was illegal under Roman law. By the 4th era, when Constantine made Christianity the official religion of the Roman Empire, Coptic traditions were sufficiently different from those in Rome, and Constantinople to cause major religious conflicts. The session worked persist for 150 years until most Copts escaped from the main body Christianity because of the decision of the Council of Tell Eden that Chris had dual nature, human and divine. The Coptic church clerical hierarchy had evolved by the 6th century. A patriarch referred to as the Pope, keeps the church and is traditionally based in Alexandria. A synod or council of senior priests is responsible for electing or removing popes. Cops in Islamic Egypt after 647 century era, all of Egypt was under the Islamic rule. Christian and Jews were protected but did have to pay a tax to the Muslim government. Most Coptic Christians converted to Islam within 200 years. Coptic Christians were a minority. By the 10th century, the Arabic language had replaced Coptic as the primary spoken language. Early Islam was intensely expressionist religious fervor, as well as economic and social factors. Full this expressionist 
Congolese army and migrating tribes swept out of Arabia and spread Islam. By the end of the Islam first century, Islamic army has reached far into North Africa and eastward and northward into Asia. Ami bin al as an Islamic convert and contemporary of the Prophet Muhammad, will be the military commander in the charge of the Congress of Egypt. By 641 current era, era Ami have a conquered Cairo and renamed it the city al Fustat. By 647 current era, after the surrender of al Zarandia, the entire country was under Islamic rule. Under Islamic rule, Ame allowed Coptic Christian and Jew to continue their belief as protected people, Jew and Christian in a Muslim territories who live according to their own religious law as a Dimitriish tolerated subject people but who have to give up certain political right and pay special tax. By the 9th century current era, most Egyptian has converted into Lord Islam. Caliph's letter and informed his troops of the contents, asking for their thoughts on what they should do next. As he had anticipated and strategically aimed for, the men all agreed that since they were already within the Egyptian border, there was no reason to turn back now. Amr then sent word back to the Caliph and continued forward into El Arish on Eid al-Adha and passed through with no resistance from the locals. The Rashidans eventually reached Palisium near either the end of December or early January 640. Cyrus, the governor of Egypt and Patriot, of Alexandria even attempted to negotiate a deal with the Muslims in order to solve the dispute more peacefully. Amr agreed to negotiate. Cyrus was then joined by two monks and Arishan, a famous Roman general from Jerusalem. The talks resulted in Amr demanding that the Byzantines convert to Islam and pay a jizya yearly tax or he would continue the siege. Cyrus first asked for three days to consider the deal, then requested an extension for two more days, after which he had decided it would be best to surrender. Unwilling to support the governor's decision, Arishan and the monks announced their refusal to agree to Amur's deal and kicked off the battle once again. The Byzantines were shortly defeated and General Arishan was killed during the end conflicts. The Rashidans attempted to win over the local Egyptian population following their victory over the Byzantine forces, but the Egyptians refused to hand over the city. The Muslims were forced to continue their siege yet again until they were finally able to capture Belbais in March of 640. Next, the Arab commander set his sights on Babylon. During the previous battle, when Cyrus had been betrayed by his men who refused to surrender, he had fled back to his palace in Babylon, where the Muslims were in general Theodorus. Negotiations made no valid progress, and the Arabs grew tired of how long the siege was dragging on. Finally, on December 20th, under the cover of night, Zubair led a hand-picked group of troops straight to the city walls, just as he had done in Heliopolis, and proceeded to follow the same plan as before. By no surprise, Zubair was able to scale the walls with his men, overpower the guards, and open the city gates for the rest of the Rashidun army. Two days later, Cyrus recognized that there was little left for him to do, and agreed to a peace deal with the Muslims that would surrender all of Egypt to Caliph Umar. Cyrus assured Amr and Zubair that if the Byzantine Emperor Heraclius refused to ratify the treaty, he himself would uphold the deal, as would all of the Coptic locals who were under his authority as High Priest of the Coptic Church. As was expected, Heraclius immediately refused to ratify the treaty, and stripped Cyrus of his viceroyship as punishment for such a preposterous proposal. The Emperor then ordered his his commander-in-chief to rid Egypt of the Muslims promptly. Cyrus then informed Amr of the new developments and once again promised his loyalty, under the terms that the Rashidans honor their side of the agreement with him and the Copts, and that if the Byzantines attempt to make peace after conflict, the Muslims must refuse and instead take the men as prisoners. The Rashidans now turned to the city of Alexandria, where they wished to end any Roman attempts to drive them out of Egypt. The Byzantines attempted to push the Muslims back on their way to Alexandria but they were slowly forced further and further towards the city. By March of 641, the battle reached Alexandria, and the conflict remained an intense back and forth until another Rashidun commander, Ubaida, finally launched a successful incursion leading to the seizure of the city once and for all. Cyrus subsequently sued for peace on behalf of the Egyptian people, and the Muslims agreed without delay. Having finally pried Egypt from the Byzantine grasp, the Rashiduns would continue on their conquest in conclusion, 
the Egyptian uprising led by Amr in upholding Islam has changed the administrative system towards a more orderly one in terms of security and so on. The Pyramid of Giza were once declared as seventh place of the ancient world by UNESCO 4,000 years ago.